Brought to you by wikivd.com Mikhail Gorbachev Mikhail Sergeyevich Gorbachev is a former Soviet statesman. He was the eighth and last leader of the Soviet Union. Having been General Secretary of the Communist Party of the Soviet Union from 1985 until 1991. He was the country's head of state from 1988 until 1991. Gorbachev was born in Stavropol Krai into a peasant Ukrainian-Russian family, and in his teens, operated combine harvesters on collective farms. He graduated from Moscow State University in 1955, with a degree in law. While he was at the university, he joined the Communist Party, and soon became very active within it. In 1970, he was appointed the first party secretary of the Stavropol Regional Committee, first secretary to the Supreme Soviet in 1974, and appointed a member of the Politburo in 1979. Within three years of the death of Soviet leader Leonid Brezhnev, following the brief interregna of Andropov and Chernenko, Gorbachev was elected general secretary by the Politburo in 1985, before he reached the post. He had occasionally been mentioned in Western newspapers as a likely next leader, and a man of the younger generation at the top level. Gorbachev's policies of glasnost and perestroika and his reorientation of Soviet strategic aims contributed to the end of the Cold War. Under this program, the role of the Communist Party in governing the state was removed from the Constitution, which inadvertently led to crisis-level political instability with a surge of regional nationalist and anti-communist activism culminating in the dissolution of the Soviet Union. Gorbachev later expressed regret for his failure to save the USSR, though he has insisted that his policies were not failures but rather were vitally necessary reforms which were sabotaged and exploited by opportunists. He was awarded the Otto Hahn Peace Medal in 1989, the Nobel Peace Prize in 1990, and the Harvey Prize in 1992, as well as honorary doctorates from various universities. In September 2008, Gorbachev and business oligarch Alexander Lebedev announced they would form the Independent Democratic Party of Russia, and in May 2009 Gorbachev announced that the launch was imminent. This was Gorbachev's third attempt to establish a political party. Having started the Social Democratic Party of Russia in 2001, and the Union of Social Democrats in 2007, Early life Gorbachev was born on 2 March 1931 in Privanoi, Stavropol Krai, Russian SFSR, Soviet Union, into a mixed Russian-Ukrainian family of migrants from foreigners and Chernigov governorates. As a child, Gorbachev experienced the Soviet famine of 1932-1933. He recalled in a memoir that, in that terrible year, in 1933, nearly half the population of my native village, Privanoi, starved to death, including two sisters and one brother of my father. Both of his grandfathers were arrested on false charges in the 1930s. His paternal grandfather Andrei Moisevich Gorbachev was sent to exile in Siberia. His father was a combine harvester operator and World War II veteran. Named Sergei Andreevich Gorbachev, his mother, Maria Pantaleyevna Gorbacheva, was a kolkhoz worker. He was brought up mainly by his Ukrainian maternal grandparents. In his teens, he operated combine harvesters on collective farms. He graduated from Moscow State University in 1955 with a degree in law. In 1967 he qualified as an agricultural economist via a correspondence master's degree at the Stavropol Institute of Agriculture. While at the university, 
He joined the Communist Party of the Soviet Union and soon became very active within the party. Gorbachev met his future wife, Raisa Titarenko, daughter of a Ukrainian railway engineer at Moscow State University. They married in September 1953 and moved to Stavropol upon graduation. She gave birth to their only child, daughter Irina Mikhailovna Verganskaya, in 1957. Raisa Gorbachova died of leukemia in 1999. Gorbachev has two granddaughters and one great-granddaughter. Rise in the Communist Party Gorbachev attended the important 22nd Party Congress in October 1961, where Nikita Khrushchev announced a plan to surpass the U.S. in per capita production within 20 years. Gorbachev rose in the Communist League hierarchy and worked his way up through territorial leagues of the party. He was promoted to head of the Department of Party Organs in the Stavropol Regional Committee in 1963. In 1970, he was appointed first party secretary of the Stavropol Regional Committee, a body of the CPSU, becoming one of the youngest provincial party's chiefs in the nation. In this position he helped reorganize the collective farms, improve workers' living conditions expand the size of their private plots, and gave them a greater voice in planning. He was made a member of the Communist Party Central Committee in 1971. Three years later, in 1974, he was made a deputy to the Supreme Soviet of the Soviet Union, and chairman of the Standing Commission on Youth Affairs. He was subsequently appointed to the Central Committee's Secretariat for Agriculture in 1978, replacing Fyodor Kulikov, who had supported Gorbachev's appointment after Kulikov died of a heart attack. In 1979, Gorbachev was elected a candidate member of the Politburo, the highest authority in the country, and received full membership in 1980. Gorbachev owed his steady rise to power, to the patronage of Mikhail Suslov, the powerful chief ideologist of the CPSU. During Yuri Andropov's tenure as general secretary, Gorbachev became one of the Politburo's most visible and active members, with responsibility over personnel, working together with Andropov. 20% of the top echelon of government ministers and regional governors were replaced, often with younger men. During this time Grigory Romanov, Nikolai Ryzhkov, and Yegor Ligachev were elevated, the latter two working closely with Gorbachev. Ryzhkov on economics, Ligachev on personnel. Gorbachev's positions within the CPSU created more opportunities to travel abroad, and this would profoundly affect his political and social views in the future as leader of the country. In 1972, he headed a Soviet delegation to Belgium, and three years later he led a delegation to West Germany. In 1983 he headed a delegation to Canada to meet with Prime Minister Pierre Trudeau and members of the Commons and Senate. In 1984, he travelled to the United Kingdom, where he met British Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher. Andropov died in 1984 and indicated that he wanted Gorbachev to succeed him as general secretary. Instead, the aged Konstantin Chernenko took power, even though he himself was terminally ill. After Chernenko's death the following year, it became clear to the party hierarchy that younger leadership was needed. Gorbachev was elected general secretary by the Politburo on the 11th of March 1985, only three hours after Chernenko's death. Upon his accession, at age 54, he was the youngest member of the Politburo. He was also the first person to be elected party leader after having initially failed in a previous bid for the post. Thank you for watching. Brought to you by Wikivd.com
Please like and subscribe below. Please like and subscribe below.